Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to run an A-B test in under 3 minutes. Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to run an A-B test in under 3 minutes and potentially skyrocket the conversion rate of your website in the process. Now, if you don't think A-B tests are a good way to increase your conversion rate, let me show you what a previous one did to my conversion rate. Now, we have this page here that starts with this image. And in my opinion, this landing page shouldn't really have this image because it doesn't add a lot of value to it. So what I did was run a simple A-B test where I just removed the image and then compared the version of, the, of this landing page with the image against one without an image. And here are the results. The original version, the one with the image, had an average conversion rate of 7.69%, while the version without the image managed to get 12.12%, all right? So that's more than 5% in conversion rate added just by removing an image. So if you think that's crazy, let me show you how you can do the same thing for your website. The only tools you need is a Google Analytics account and a Google Optimize account. This is the tool that's going to help you to create those A-B tests. And yeah, by the way, this is a free tool. You just need to figure out how to install this tool on your website. I'm not going to cover that because there are too many platforms out there. So now that we have it installed, let's go and show you how to do your A-B test. Just click on Create Experience, and we're going to name our A-B test. First, obviously, we need to find what we want to test. So let's go back to this page. And I've already been to this page, already browsed it a couple of times. And I don't really like this t-shirt section because we're mainly selling medals. We're not really selling t-shirts. So this like upsell, I don't think it actually adds any value to the landing page at all. So I want to remove it and see how the results compare with and without it. And for that reason, this test that I'm going to show you here is going to be all about that, just removing that section and running a test with and without it. So we name our test here. We specify the page where we want this to run and then click Create. And once we are here inside this A-B test page, what we need to do is to click and add another variant. Here again, we name our page, our variant, and I'm going to name it the same Remove T-shirt section. We click Done. And now we have two variants, the original one and the one that we want to edit. And as you can see here, you can even edit how much, what's the percentage of the traffic that you want to send. If you do 50-50, that's a balanced one. You could even do, if you have previous data about the conversion rate of your original link page, you can accelerate the process and maybe do 80% here and 20% here. But if you're starting, I would recommend 50-50 because it's really balanced. Now let's go ahead and edit the page. And at this stage, it's you probably thinking, oh my God, I need a developer. How am I gonna edit the landing page? But the thing is most conversion rate optimization tools out there have this very intuitive interface where you can drag and drop things. You can edit them easily just by using your keyboard and mouse. All right, so let's wait for this to load. And as I said, we want to remove that entire section. We just scroll to it, click on it, right click, and just hit remove. Bang, that's it. That's the whole thing. Let me show you just as an example, if you want to change the text, how easy it is, you just right click, edit text, and you can write here whatever you want, all right? So very simple to edit your page, no need for a developer. We're gonna click save. We are done here. That's the change that we want to bring to the landing page. And now we only need to do one more step and that is set up our goal, right? We want to tell this A-B test, what does it count as a goal? How should it compare the two landing pages? And for that reason, we're gonna create a custom goal and we're gonna go with the simplest form and that is a page view and that means this 
A-B test is going to look at how many people end up on this given page after they landed on one of those two variants, right? So what you want to do here is to say, you know, have a thank you page maybe as your objective or even have something like a cart or checkout page. It really depends on what type of website you're doing this for. So in my opinion, in my case, I'm just going to go with checkouts because that's the page where people end up before buying. And that's pretty much it. We need to name our objective. Let's check out page. Click save. And that's it. Literally, that's it. We click start and our A-B test is already running. All right. That was it. That's how simple it is to run. Now all you have to do is wait and look at the results. You're going to find them in Google Analytics. You go to your behavior tab and then click on experiments. And here you can find a whole list of those experiments that are currently running. And once you click on those, you can see the results here. You'll find the conversion rate of the objective that you just set up on the right side. All right, guys, that's how simple it is. Most of you aren't really using this tool and it's pretty sad because you're missing out so much on improving your conversion rate and obviously the final revenue of your business. Hi guys, if you want to improve your conversion rate, then definitely do watch this very short trick. What we have here is just the ads manager and I've just made this custom report where you can see different stages of my funnel. And as you can see, people abandon from one stage to another. And you should ask yourself, why does it happen, right? Why do people add to car, but they don't end up purchasing? And that might very well have to do with your products, or in most cases, it has to do with your website, all right? The problem is you don't really know what's happening inside your website. So it's hard for you to take any decision on what to improve or what to change. And that's why we want to use a session replay tool. A session what? Well, let me just show you because this is going to definitely blow your mind. Now, I'm using Hotjar. You might use any other software company out there. It doesn't really matter. You need to see what happens here. So I've sorted those sessions by people that went to the checkouts page. And I'm just going to play, play it out to you and you'll know instantly what this is. So we click play and what happens is you can see exactly what each user did on your website. You can see what they scrolled, you can see what they read, you can see even when they type something or when they click things. And just by looking at the recordings of their session, you can get so much info it's not even funny. For example, we, di we discovered that the t-shirts that you just saw there, they're a very bad thing for our conversion rate because people come to this website for the medals, not really the t-shirts. So in the next version of this landing page, we're definitely going to remove those t-shirts and we're going to probably see a 10% improvement just from that. Okay, I'm going to move forward here. So as you can see, he ended up on the checkout page. For some reason, he went back, but now he goes back again. So probably he's looking for something, he's looking for some extra details that he's not finding. Just looking at one session is not gonna get you your answers. If you want to get the best out of this tool, you definitely need to watch a couple of hundreds of sessions and that's gonna get you all the patterns. You know, you'll see why those people aren't scrolling past a certain section or where they, where they exit. You're gonna see what reviews do they like, you're gonna see which sections made them buy and so on. Everything has to do with the patterns and that comes from watching a lot of sessions.